we go. Hey folks, it's David Bourne from New Wild Media talking about note taking, talking about creativity. But the question is, do you have to take notes to stay creative? Now the spoiler alert on my uh, whole talk right now is yes, I do have to take notes. I personally have to take notes. Now, not everybody is gonna have to take notes. I'm sure there are some jazz musicians out there that can't read music who don't take notes. Uh, although I think everybody's gotta take notes in some way. And you definitely take notes inside your head. But really what I'm talking about is taking notes. And in this world of new media that so many of us find ourselves so regularly, I have found uh, the tool Evernote to be such an excellent note taker. But I recognize that not everybody does that. I just uh, I just rely so heavily on it that I had to ask the question, do you have to take notes to stay creative? So what's next? Uh, I think of notes as a, I read this recently, they're like a natural resource. They're something that we feed off of. Over time, they build and we can dip into them and look into them and make something out of it. We can make something out of the notes that we've collected. So now I have to admit that I fall prey into doing, I spend a lot of my time taking notes and collecting notes and not enough time digging into those notes and creating something. That's another question that I want to address when I'm talking about note taking, because it helps me to think about notes and to see where I want them to take me. So I'm going to do a quick list of how I get things into Evernote. I counted just now and I have 907, no, sorry, 9,747 notes that I have built up in Nevernote. Now, I did not write all of, I did not type all those, although I, I did type a lot of them. Um, I came up with nine different ways that I get things into Evernote. And I'm just going to list that real quick. I type them by hand. I dictate them, you know, just like with your phone when you say, hello, period, this is a note, period, new paragraph. That kind of dictation often works well. It doesn't work well when you're driving, I've found, because the daggum dictator, is that what you call it? The dictation app doesn't last but maybe 30 seconds, and you can't be touching your phone and being distracted like that. However, I take a lot of notes in the car and I do that by hitting a record button before I start driving and I just start talking and that is very very valuable to me I will do another video about that some other time um, so two different ways I get audio notes in and I get uh, the two ways that I do handwriting into Evernote uh, on iOS some of you may not know this it's pretty new on iOS it's been around for a long time with Android, but you can make a handwritten note within the software itself. Now it helps to have some kind of digital pen or at least a pen that has a, a rubber tip on it, you know, that's designed for touch screens. Uh, otherwise you can use your, ooh, fly, shoe fly. Uh, otherwise you can use your uh, finger, but I don't think that works as well. We just didn't grow up writing with our fingers uh, very much, at least past kindergarten we didn't. Uh, so the other way I bring in handwritten notes, which is very valuable, is to take a photograph or to scan in something that I've written. Usually I take a photograph and Evernote has a really great app that allows you to do that quickly. And it formats it and it cleans it up for you automatically. It just takes a few seconds to get something in. So that is an awesome way of doing it. So that's two ways I get handwriting into notes. I think handwriting is super important. It's another topic I want to talk about uh, with notes. Um, but I feel like, uh, you know, it, it, it's a way to synthesize. Handwriting is a way of synthesizing notes and ideas that you just can't get with typing. So other ways, oh, I wanted to just add that the, the very uh, handy thing with Evernote is that particularly if you write clearly, it can read text and then you can search within that text. 
Uh, so you can search within that uh, image, I should say, for text. So if you're tagging things correctly, you can you can find things uh, really uh, easily in Evernote. And that's the beauty of Evernote is how I can find things. So I also um, send in notes directly from email. I do that just by starring it. There is a way you can set up the, I'm pretty sure I did this in the if, then, this, that program. Uh, in fact, I'm sure I am. I can see it now. You, I created a little recipe or borrowed one from somebody else that you if starred email in Gmail, it will send it to Evernote, which is handy because then I can, at the end of the day or when I have time, I can go through my list of notes as they're chronologically ordered and I can see if there's something that I meant to give myself a heads up about or maybe it's just something I wanted to have a more um, hard record within my note-taking system. Uh, what else? Sent from email, that was that. Uh, sent from Web Clipper. Now, tons of those almost 10,000 notes that I have, gosh, probably at least 50% were sent from Web Clipper. So I use Chrome a lot also in Safari on the Mac, but uh, it's a great extension where if you see something, you can either highlight text and send that straight into Evernote, or you can just send the entire article. It'll even reformat it in a more readable format for you and send it to Evernote. And you can tag it from there if you like. Now, that tagging and keywording is a whole nother topic I won't talk about here. It is critical if you're using notes. Uh, but um, or if you're if you're wanting to get some value out of your notes, I should say. So sent from email, sent from web clipper. All right, sent from pocket favorites. This is one I've been using a ton of in my Learning Diver project, which is a, a project at my site, New Wild Media, where I am on a regular basis looking at dive scuba related, underwater related news and I'm doing that through an RSS feed. I just made a video about how to use RSS today, in fact. But I have that RSS feed, which just brings in these hundreds of articles into my feed reader. I use Feedly. And then I have this system where I can tag and favorite and things get sent to Evernote and they get sent in with keywording that's already been applied. It's really super awesome so that when I'm inside Evernote, I can just get in there and I can uh, do what I need to do by doing running a couple of save searches real quickly. So that is super helpful. Uh, what Pocket is. Uh, Pocket is an app that I use. I use both on the web and a lot on uh, my iPhone. I'll do another video about that later too. And finally, there's some other if then this that. If you go and look on the App Store for the If app, uh, it is a recipe app. It's a way to pack and program all these other apps that you're using out there. It's a way to make things happen, and you can shoot stuff to Evernote. Every once in a while, I'll just go in there and I'll look at the, I'll search for Evernote and see what kind of recipes other people have written, or if the people at If have written to get things into Evernote. So that's a lot of fun to do, and it's just a cool way to add to your collection. Now, so. Do you have to take notes to stay creative? I do. I have to take notes to stay creative. Maybe you don't. But the really big question here is not do you take notes, but do you use those notes? You know, how do you use those notes? What do you do to get all those resources you've collected? Then what do you do? You've got to process these. And, and thankfully, there are tools built into Evernote. Uh, that help you process, but you also have to learn some habits and learn some processes yourself to use these tools. And I want to talk about some of that stuff later, but uh, if you don't put notes in there, then you can't get much out of digging deep into it. So the more you put in, the better chance you can find some things that you're looking for, and you can have those disparate, seemingly disparate ideas uh, where one thing you don't think it connects to another, but if you run a search or you somehow see them and then they can bring two things together and that can really spark some creativity. So yeah, I guess, like I said at the beginning, spoiler alert, I believe that you do need to take notes to be and to stay creative, at least I do, at least in the digital realm, the writing realm and Evernote or other tools like it. Digital notes are such a critical thing. So I hope you're using it. 
I hope uh, you've thought about that. I hope some of these ideas are helping you to think about it. If you've, if you're using Evernote and you're not getting much out of it, then I would, in essence, say find some more ways to feed it, and then find some more ways to search into it, use it, and uh, it's probably a dozen other things that I do within Evernote that could help uh, you. And I may talk about those at some other time, but I wanted to start there. So that's it. I'm David Bourne. You can find more ideas like this at newwildmedia.com. It's a site where nature and outdoor based folks can find help with technical stuff like Evernote, photography, video, audio. I'm a digital media guy. I have been uh, ever since, well, not since digital media has been around, but about 20, I'd say 15, 15 years. I just love it. Also love the outdoors. I love being in nature. I mentioned the scuba site uh, I talked about earlier. I cover stuff like that there at New Wild Media, and I hope to cover more nature and outdoor topics myself, but particularly helping other people. Telling stories, promoting stories. That's what I do. That's what I love. Uh, I'm blessed to have my two big interests, technology and nature, coming together in this site, New Wild Media. So I hope you'll check it out. I would love to see you there. All right, that's it. Thank you for listening, and I'm going to go take some more notes, I guess, in Evernote or something like that. Bye. Really depends on what you do. I think Evernote could be anything. It, it, it could be for fun. It could be for recipes. It could be for um, really anything you're interested in. I, for example, this this uh, this site that I'm working on called called uh, The Learning Diver. So I, my daughter and I took up scuba diving. Uh, I say take up, we've only been a couple of times. We took up scuba diving last fall and I just wanna learn more about it because you can drown if you don't pay attention and I don't wanna drown. So uh, I think uh, just keeping dive content fresh in my mind is helping me to um, be safer and to learn more to have more fun and so evernote is just a way for me to collect that information if i see something i like i stick it in evernote and that way i always know where it is i don't have to go and search the web i'll go search evernote evernote so um you know i think anything that you Anything that you are interested in could be better developed, more fully developed through taking notes and um, you know, just having fun with it. I think having fun is the most important thing you do. I think with a digital tool like Evernote, it can, um, I saw your answer. Let's see, I think Evernote can just really be a great if you know, you just got to stick stuff in there to make it work. So Stacy, I'm working on a new website and used it this week to save my branding ideas. That's good. I've been a premium for about three, four years, but I'm trying to learn even more hack to connect it with other apps. So some things are automated. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, the hacks are a lot of fun. I like that stuff. Um, you know, I think it really just depends on, what kind of research you're doing, like the number one tool. Let's see if I can pull this up. I don't know if I can or not. I'm gonna try to show you this. This is why I'm doing this. So um, the number one thing I do, I don't know if you can see this, but this little, uh, you can't see this. Ah, it's not gonna work. All right, you see this little icon right here? That's Hootsuite, that's not it. I always get those confused. You can't see this. There's a little elephant. I click on that elephant probably, I don't know, 50 times a day, not 50. Well, some days I do. It depends on if I'm in research mode. And I clip that stuff to Evernote. Now, if it's just a, if it's just a little block of text, I'll go ahead and do that. And I, I find that super helpful. So let's see what Roman, I was going to 
Six years. All right. Roman's going to join the call. Stacy, feel free to join the call if you're set up. Hi, hey, guys. Roman. How are you doing? Hi, guys. Thanks for um, allowing me to enter uh, for your kindness conversation uh, about um, you know I would I'm listening to you and I would wanted to tell you about Evernote uh, you know maybe I missed something in this conversation and um, yeah Good. my question is what about Evernote what about it uh, no you like have a topic do you have a, to uh, take notes to stay cr uh, creative and Evernote is uh, one of your marks. Uh, yeah, are you familiar with Evernote? Have you ever used it, Roman? Oh, yeah, oh yes, oh yes. Uh, I'm trying to implement in my life. Uh, I'm, I apologize. Um, um, every day, I try to implement it in every every day of my life. Yep. Um, I apologize. Uh, I, I'm music is playing in my background. Is it annoying to you? Uh, I can I can hear it, but I can't tell what the song is. I think if I could hear the song. Let, let me turn it off. I, I'm apologize. That's okay. Let let me turn it off. Uh, uh, just one sec, guys. Just one sec, okay? Are you going to turn it off or turn it down? Oh, yes. I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, cool. uh, and let me find you guys. Yeah, I have so many folders. My oh my god! I think. Uh huh. Okay, uh, I'm back. So, so, Roman, what do you do with Evernote? What are you uh, using it for? Um. Yeah. You know, I. I I'm. I, I didn't use it before. But uh, I'm using it right now, for, not just exactly right now, for about one month. One month. Yep. And um, uh, when I start implementing it, I found that I feel more, um, you know, cl clear yeah. uh, about my goal, yeah. about my dream, whatever you can say yeah. there. Yeah, you know, I, I'm agree with you. When yeah, I yeah. saw you, when I saw your topic, I'm I'm a totally agree with you. Well, I got a question about that because yeah, uh, yeah I've been a Evernote user for a long time, and I've loved it because it works, and because I feed it. And uh, we were just talking to Stacy, who looks like Stacy. You're still here. I was talking to Stacy about it, and she's been using it for about a month to collect notes. And it's interesting that you've been using it. Well, she said actually she's been using it a lot longer, but she's been using it recently. Okay. But this is what I think about one of the things about taking notes. Now, it could just be a notebook, which I've done this for years. I think it really does something in your, it does something to your psyche that tells you you're working on something, that you're building yes. something. Yes, that yes, definitely. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing you saying. Yeah. Yeah, say something more about that because I think that's fascinating. Um, for example, let, let me let me collect my, my all thirds. Um, um, for example, I, do you know? Have you heard about Brian Tracy? Yes, yes. Yeah, um, I, I don't want to bring it to conversation, but I was, you know heard no, just you know around the internet and I just click on him what I want to say and I uh, no I was just listening to him and um, okay 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 and I'm just listening I'm just showing yeah. that uh, my you know, like process of listening to him okay okay and before that um, I am uh, I was uh, thinking about the people that I met in my life when I saw this picture if I can explain, um, when I come into the office, they are sitting on their like a table, the office table. Yeah. And they have a physical book, physical book, and they're writing the notes. And we start talking to uh, one of the guy, and he's uh, actually a principal of the 
university mm -hmm. and what are you doing? And he's like, I'm writing what I have to do today. Yeah. And, like, and uh, what you to do to be productive. I, I thought about it and he answered it without uh, my answer. He's like, if I not completing this task today, I write down, I flip the notebook and I write it down right over it. So I complete the list. What what I have to do. Is that the, the next... getting things done system that you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. It's like a system. Brian and... is getting things done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a whole, he, he used to, or I think he used to sell notebooks. And it was yeah, it's a planner. A, maybe your grandfather did, did that. Maybe right. your father, your brother. Sure. And, and uh, now time, uh, people do that all the time. I think it's a good uh, decision to do that. Uh, but Evernote is pretty doing good job. Uh, like, you know, we're sending everything on the server. Yep. It's, it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. Yeah, uh, it's I'm, great. It works very, very well. Why yeah. yeah. Um, paperless. Paperless. Uh, completely paperless. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I haven't converted to the paperless office yet. And one of the yeah. reasons I don't want to do that is I don't want all those uh, pieces of paper, like bills. I don't want them in Evernote. It kind of creeps me out to think of my bills being there. But I don't yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I, I'm sure you. I do. I don't do that either. I apologize. I uh, interrupt you. No, it's okay. No, I think it's a uh, it's a fascinating thing. And uh, like I said, I don't uh, I don't think you were on the call earlier, but. Uh, I have to, to answer my question, do I have to take notes to stay creative? I do. Um, but one of my points was that uh, it's not just the note taking, it's more of this, I think what you touched on, Roman, was the idea that you feel um, more organized. Yes. Smarter. Yes. I think you mean, I'm apologize, in the brackets, in the brackets, uh, without interrupting you, in the brackets, uh, it's, uh, you mean the fears uh, of uh, taking notes and it's go to the server and somebody is watching you. I don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not putting anything up there that, you know, I, don't, I don't care if anybody else sees it. Uh, you know, I, I gave up on privacy a long time ago, I think if people want to hack into your system, they're going to do it. I, that's kind of pessimistic. But, um, you know, I feel like none of the none of the stuff I haven't ever noticed to me. I apologize. I, I overlocated. OK. I'll just OK. Please keep talking, please. OK. Sure. I, I hear you have a good background. I want to do the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just okay. Please continue. Please, I'm sorry. I'm no, really no sorry. No problem. Um, so, yeah, I think um, I think everyone is great, and uh, I I'm a big proponent. But like I s tried to say earlier, it's really not the note taking, but it's what you do with it. Now, I would ask Stacy. If you're still there, Stacy, you're um, Stacy can't join us tonight because of technical difficulties on the screen. But she said that she is putting stuff into Evernote, um, and I guess my question would be, uh, you know, it, it the value it, it doesn't really have any value unless you put the value in it. Yes, I'm agree. Yeah. Uh, and if you're if you're not using Evernote, what are you using instead? Because maybe it's a better system. Oh, you know, I 
it could be Gmail. I used to put stuff in Gmail because it was a good place and it did stay synchronized. Now, uh, I've been oh. around computers for a long time and, and mm -hmm. when you first started talking about fear room and I thought you were talking about fear of things not being synchronized because I remember that feeling. Right. I'm sorry, uh, maybe I didn't get it the first, but, but right now I, I got it, what, what you want to say. Uh -huh. If you finished, uh, when you finished, uh, just let me know, okay? I'm good. I would like to continue your, your thoughts, if you don't mind. I'm fine. I, uh, um, I'm, can you, now I got a question, Roman. Can you see Stacy's questions too? Um, sorry, let me just uh, find her question. Like Stacy, there are a lot of questions, and uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what was the right one? Right, the well, search. Just, uh, I, my question, I guess, was: so if you're not using Evernote, what do you use? Just putting notes and folders in in your computer. I do that as well. Um, um, here's a new thing I've been doing that is related to Evernote. In the past. Yeah. I have put my writing in Evernote as well, like my 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 writing. So if I write articles for a blog post, I put that in Evernote. Okay. And I have found that I get way too distracted because there's so many tools that I'm used to using and that I get great benefit from using within Evernote. Okay. I found that I need to use a different app or different piece of software to write, uh, which has been helpful. I just made that switch about a month ago. And uh, a lot of times I will send stuff back into Evernote if I know that I want it to be there. But, uh, you know, because Stacy said that she's just used Apple Mac Notes a lot, which I assume, Stacy, that's another uh, synchronized system, right? Like on your, do you have an Apple yeah. Mobile? Um, You're saying the truth. iCloud, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, just to, uh, can, can I say something? No, that's it. I, I just, uh, it's been real helpful to to come out of Evernote as well. You're good. You're very good. I'm very appreciate for that. You're so. Um, you know, you know, sharing the thirds. Uh, I'm very appreciative that it's very, very appreciative. Sure. In, gen in general. So, um, uh, what I want to say, um, uh, let me just um, check. Sometimes it's it's really hard to start talking like freely, uh, freely, mind, mindly, freely. Sure. I need uh, time to plug in, sort of, sort of like if I can say so. Sure. In, in general, um, uh, before you ever know it, for example, as for me, uh, to I never use anything. Yeah. And usually, I was in like following intuition to do something, and I, you know. I was very happy w with it, but when I start more organized, I, when I start to get used to Evernote, sometimes I can't forget. I have like Android, not iOS, Android, yeah. uh, Mac. I'm right now using the Mac uh, Macintosh, uh, MacBook Air. Mm -hmm. But but I have like um, Android still. I have a Android my like cell sure. as a cell. I use this system works on every system. Right. Yeah. Evernote's great that it's cross platform. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm great. Awesome. So you no, know, I start when I start implementing it. I'm sorry if I'm going to the side uh, with a question like. Okay. I'm, just uh, let me know, okay, guys. I'm just very open to it. You're fine. I guess. What? Well, thank you. And uh, I'm sometimes I'm for, honestly I'm forgetting what I put in Evernote. Yeah. It's continuing happening for two weeks, but I consistently 
um, trying to look at my cell phone. I'm like, okay, oh my God, I had to do this one. I use the option as like notifying me. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, guys. That. I'm, I'm a habit. I'm trying to use, I'm trying yeah. to use, get into new habits. Let me give you a couple ideas. And Stacy, you might find this valuable too. Couple things. All right. Now, uh, you probably know that if you go, it works better on a desktop. First of all, a lot better on, de on a desktop. So you've got the Evernote app installed. I almost never use the web uh, version. You know, Evernote, you can log in from a browser. That's not as, it's great, but it's not as good as the, des the desktop app. But if you go and you find, let's run a search, okay? If, if you've got enough notes, you can run a search and you can then select multiple things all right so i've got three notes selected right now and then there's an option to create a table of contents note and what that does it'll take a it'll take those three and it'll create links to each note and it'll make a fourth note with those links in it does that make sense yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying. I, I, I just used it. No, I'm yeah. using it like in the desktop. Maybe uh, uh, Stacy. Maybe she, I, 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 I don't know. Stacey about Stacey. All right. Well, you can take those. Uh, you can take those links to the notes. And what I'll do is I'll create what's known as a master note. Now, I use when I spell master, I add an extra letter to it. So when I run a search for that, I, I actually use M-A-S-T-E-R-D. I don't know why I picked D. My name's David, so maybe that's why I tend to do that a lot. So I know that a master note, I, if I want to find a master note, I, I just type in M-A-S-T-E-R-D, which is not a real word, right? So yeah. if, if I've clipped something on the word that's got the word master in it, it's not going to find that. So it finds a limited number of notes, and those are my main notes. So that's where I oh, keep my thoughts. That's where I keep a record of what I've done on a project. I'll put in a timestamp um, so that I can uh, kind of keep a log of what I've done. And I bet this happens to you too. So you work on a project, especially if it's a creative project. Uh, it could be for work too, though. So you, you work on a project and then you take a lot of time off, right? And then you decide yeah. you, uh, two months later that you want to go back and work on that project. Well, you've forgotten a lot that you've done. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely know what you're talking about. Yeah, but if you go into that log, it's a quick, oh, I did this, I did that, I did that. Oh, and here's some links to some notes I thought were relative. It really helps refresh your memory and brings you back to speed pretty much immediately. Uh, it's a good idea. So that's very helpful. And um, so now there's another way to do it. It's not the table of contents. And I've just memorized these keystrokes uh, on the Mac. You're using, what are you using, Stacey? You use a Mac or a PC? No, oh, you're using Apple Mac Notes. I guess you're on a Mac. Um, anyway, so I do Control Option Command C when I've got a note highlighted, and it automatically makes a copy of the link to that note. So I, if I know I wanna copy something, I'll do Control Option Command C, I'll go into another note and I'll hit Command V, and that puts a hyperlink to that note. That's very helpful. Um, because then you've got these notes, you don't have to search anymore, and you don't have to remember keywords anymore for particular things, and it can really uh, speed things up. And, and over time, you get these connections, again, that you may have forgotten about because it's been months since you've worked on something. Plus, the biggest project of our lives, they take months or years, right? So and they're long. Um, that can be very valuable. But again, you got to put the time into it and you got to put the effort into it. 
Absolutely. So, I'm agree with you. And, um, cool. What kind of work do you do, Roman? I saw an English teacher. Yeah, I'm an I'm English teacher. I uh, just to short uh, my bio. I spend I, I, actually I'm Russian. Okay. But I spent six years in Michigan. Okay. I, I mean, three years in Michigan, uh, three years, uh, almost three years in Seattle. Okay. I've been traveling uh, a lot in the United States from East to West Coast. Cool. Uh, and English teacher. For, the, for this purpose, I was traveling a lot, and uh, I, w I wasn't traveling a lot, so in, in Russia. <laughs> I've been in St. Pet Petersburg, uh, I was in Moscow, but I still want to travel around. Um, just, you know, I'm very, so just in general, I'm an English teacher. I, um, I'm very, um, I feel comfortable with the people like you and like, um, uh, Michigan and Seattle, uh, I had like, uh, um, in short, no Russians. Yeah, I wanted to set myself in this uh, kind of like, you know, sets or just a situation with no Russians. Yeah, that's I, why I understand. That's why, thank you for understanding. That's why I start to uh, un understand and talking in English language. Sure. And so that's why I did that. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm an English teacher and, and right now I'm learning, not right now, for the past one year and a half, I'm learning um, marketing from leadpages.com. Uh, I'm sorry, .net. Leadpages.net, very nice uh, yeah. guys. Yeah, maybe you heard of them. I have. I it's just internet marketers, and uh, I just use it to represent my services. Hey, Don. No, you know, just in short, that that's what I do. Yeah, that's market. One so year you're, half. You build. Uh, you're building marketing for your for your English uh, language <laughs> business. Is that correct? Or are you doing it for other clients too? No, just for myself right now, and. Uh, I'm actually I'm um, uh, without you know I just wanted to talk to you guys and in, in this conversation uh, without like any purpose to ask you something just just I saw you're like do you have to talk to take notes to stay creative yep I'm like okay I want to talk about that just just personally you know bye Stacy uh, Stacy's leaving it's good to have you on the uh, okay Stacy have a good one tonight hope your Evernote Come back and uh, use some memory some more and let us know how it goes, okay? Stacy, Good to meet yeah. you, too. Okay. Oh, very so, nice. Good. She used the uh, control option command. <laughs> yeah. yeah. CMD. That's a good one. CMD. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you doing in, what are you doing for a living? What do I do for a living? Um, just a, not a secret. <laughs> I am a media guy. I've made videos for over 20 years and I uh, have been behind the camera for a long time. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I've been in front of the camera for two weeks now. I uh, Last, not this Monday, but the Monday before I said to myself, I'm going to do a live recording every day for 30 days. So I'm on day I don't do the weekends. So okay. I'm on day nine uh, of doing a live recording every day. So my uh, my goal is to create uh, videos for my business. I, um, I'm a total tech geek, but I love the outdoors. So you mentioned marketing earlier before, Roman. I, um, I teach marketing to nature and outdoor based businesses. I also teach the video, the photography, the audio, uh, yeah. things like Evernote. You know, I just love create, I love creativity. I love technology. So. Well, no, then, then I'm, uh, you know, I'm really glad, you know, that I'm, well, they're the same people like me. 
Well, it's, it's really nice. You know, we are trying to to be like, you know, one one of the things what I want to say, like some people, some people are asking why you, what do you do for a living? And, you know, sometimes I'm going to ask, like, I try to be um, positive, but it's not exactly that. But I try to be helpful to people. My sure. service, my living being, like my, I'm an English teacher. Why are you not teaching? I'm trying to help you to be creative in your next no, next steps right. in your life. Right. So I want to share my experience, positive yeah. experience. That's great. And you know what I mean? In marketing, for example, I'm learning how to be more uh, wide open. Yep. And I try to show a little bit path to this to other people. And sure. that is you know, it's it's absolutely fine, nice. To be nice is just to be helpful. Sure. Think, oh, that's the key to happiness is helping people. My services, uh, and I, I give my services, somebody give their services. Right. Something like ancient thing, like people before, like, <laughs> like before civilization sort of like, you know, yeah, uh, the skins of animals. They somebody do something. Somebody sharing something. Somebody right. hunting. Somebody sharing something. So sure. these old uh, ways of exchanging. Yeah. So I have you heard? I like. I like heard this. Seth Godin talk about that. Are you familiar with Seth Godin? He he talks about that. Uh, you know, ancient times and and how the economies were so different. And the internet, ironically, as high tech as it is, uh, allows us to dip back into those those ancient patterns that I think are built within us. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like that. I, me too. I like that. We could go straight with a uh, person, with a just... Customer, um, no, it's nice. It's it's yeah. changing. It's changing the world. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I, I hope it is. Uh, so many people, <laughs> so many people use it for the wrong reasons. But I really, yeah. you know, I I've been a storyteller, a professional storyteller, with being a video guy. I've done it for twenty years, mm -hmm. but I've always said that I've hated marketing. But I just recently in the last three years realized, wait a minute, I don't hate marketing. I hate advertising. I hate false advertising. I hate manipulation. But marketing is just telling your story in a way that resonates with people and those people can become your customers. And yes. if, you, if you can help them. And yes. so this idea of no like and trust is uh you know that's what marketing is i've learned you get to know someone you like them you like their product you like who they are you identify with them uh then that trust can be there and then that's when if you've got the trust that's when commerce can happen and yes. uh, mutual benefit like you like you mentioned um roman with the the old times where people helped each other out by trading goods or I'm services. Trying to me that and we yep. are you know, yeah i think so. cool stuff and i think that uh right now uh, if you don't mind uh, i want to just say that uh, the middle class is dying all around the world it is Right now, the big guys staying, and the very poor people getting more poor year a year. Yep, around the world, around the world. Yes. So this is a very good time for personal marketing. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Absolutely. If you're just offering your services. You use the internet in the right way to say, "Hey, you know, I'm doing these guys." And you write in your blog, you write in your Facebook or 
other social network and in your personal blog and say, guys, and you do nice lots of uh, things, uh, articles that helping people like step by step. Yep. And they, I'm trusting you and I want to use your services. Yep. If I uh, understood you right, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I'm uh, absolutely. You know, I, I started this conversation based on Evernote. Uh, I put a topic up there thinking, well, I know other people use Evernote, and I know a lot of people would like to get more out of it. I get a lot out of it. So uh, even though there's hundreds of people out there teaching people how to use Evernote, it's something that I'm good at. It's something I'm passionate about. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to, and here's what I'm doing. I'm trying to write about using Evernote, and I want to come up with uh, some free training on it. I'm an introvert, and uh, introverts are in their head. Yep. They're in their notes. And uh, I've written about this enough to know how I feel about it. So now it's time to to talk to people about it. And, you know, this blab is an excellent way to do that. Yes. Yes, definitely. So I thought, you know, I want to learn more about Evernote. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that tonight. In the goal of using it as a way to reach uh, customers in the future, you know, when I when I do make videos about it. Um, and before you got online, I recorded. I've got a, a higher quality camera here attached to my web camera, um, so you I, have a blog? I can look at. Both of you uh, if customers can follow you because I yeah. can see that you know what you're saying after this conversation. You, even I, even I from another country, but I lived uh, in America for uh, six years, and it's, it's not a problem like uh, language, English, you know. Uh, sure, uh, I know that you're knowing, uh, knowing that, uh, and uh, can other customers to follow you to your um, future articles? Yep. Uh, can Say right now something um, the uh, like where uh, where to follow like uh, Twitter, Facebook, or uh, your um, like three w dot. My uh, what, how do you find me on the web? Is yeah. that what you're asking? Yes. Yes. How do how do how do you find me on the web? Uh, New Wild Media is my site. Um, if you, I don't know if you. Uh, let me repeat, uh, 3w.newwildmedia.com. Right. right, newwildmedia.com. Yeah, that's where I'm, um, that's where you'll find me. That's my main project. Um, it is, it's very good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's based on the Rainmaker platform, mm -hmm. which has some, uh, you mentioned lead data. Pages and lead pages it's is a competitor. In conversation, you know what I mean? Sure. But it, now it is very close to lead pages. And I, yeah. uh, you know, it, because it's a time management. It's yeah. a time. Because without, without time management, I can say that you can't do nothing. You That's have true. To, you're right. Because, <laughs> to, for, for example, for example, uh, I don't want to be like annoying with a lot of like knowledge things. Uh, just very short, very short. Uh, you have to, for example, time eaters. Yeah. It's social media. You oh, have to yeah. switch it off when you're working. You have to switch it off. No uh, Facebook. No, in, like in a um, iOS or like platform or Blackberry, just switch it up. Yeah. Work on your project, work on your project, like time management. And in that meaning, Evernote is very important. It's a core uh, thing in any project. Yeah. And I'm, I'm supporting you in that and I'm your Thanks. follower. And the guys following this guy, uh, he knows what he's uh, talking about. It's very pleasant. Great. Well, it's good to find you, Roman. I wish you the best. 
Me too. Yeah, man. Have a good one, okay? Yeah, I hope to follow, follow, on, on, uh, follow me on Blab. I'll, I've just followed you, and we'll uh, maybe we'll see each other uh, around okay. sometime again. I'll be look. I'll be on the lookout for you. All right. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll do that. All right, man. Have a good one. Have a good one. Yeah, you too.